Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all will be fine. Today we are going to start the reading of English class 3. Okay students, as we have done the reading of chapter number 1 and its point, so now we are moving towards chapter number 2, the wooden bowl. Now we are going to start such reading. Once upon a time, in a small town in Germany, there lived a man called Kurt. He lived with his son, Manfred, and his daughter-in-law, Thekla. They all shared a little old house at the end of a quiet street in the middle of the town. Manfred was a carpenter and spent all his time in a workshop next to the house. He had learned carpentry from his father, who had been a famous carpenter in his days. Kurt had taught his son well, and the son earned a good living. He made furniture for the people of the town, and from time to time he did some carving. The young people, Manfred and Tekla, had a son called Wilhelm. The boy liked to sit in the workshop and watch his father. As he grew older, he helped his father by fetching and carrying things. He learned to clean the tools and to take care of them. He learned how to use a saw and a hammer and a chisel. And his grandfather taught him to carve wood into wonderful shapes. The grandfather was very old now and getting older every day. He was not very strong. His eyes were dim and he could not see well. Sometimes his hand shook and sometimes he sat in a chair and nodded off. In the evenings, when they all sat down to dinner at the table, Manfred and Tekla used to get angry with the old grandfather. He was slow and clumsy. Sometimes he broke a glass, sometimes he dropped a spoon, and sometimes he split soup on his clothes. He was an old man after all. One day during the evening meal, the old man dropped his plate on the floor. Crash! It smashed into a hundred tiny pieces and the food fell all over the place. Thekla and Manfred began to clean up the floor. But how angry they were! After that accident, they bought him a cheap wooden bowl from the market and gave him his dinner in that. They made the old man sit by himself in the corner of the room to eat his food. The old man was sad. He kept quiet and did not complain. One evening, not long afterwards, Thekla and Manfred had finished work for the day and were preparing the evening meal. When the meal was ready, they called for Wilhelm. They looked in his room, but he was not there. Where could that boy be? asked Thekla. Manfred had no idea. He asked the old man if he had seen Wilhelm, but the old man shook his head. Thekla and Manfred became a little worried. They looked out on the street, but Wilhelm was not there. They saw a light. Then they saw a light on it, on in the workshop. They went to look. They stepped into the workshop and found their son sitting on the floor. He was cutting a small block of wood and working as hard as he could. Ah, there you are, said Tekla. What are you making, son? asked Manfred. Wilhelm put down the block of wood and the chisel. He looked up at his parents. I am making a wooden bowl for you to eat from when you are old, replied the boy. 
The parents looked at each other, their eyes filled with tears. Come, dinner is ready, said Thekla softly, and she put her arms around. Her son and the three of them went back to the house. After this, Thekla and Manfred always asked the old grandfather to sit with them at the table. So now students, as we have completed the exercise, uh, the reading, so we are now moving towards the exercise. And in exercise, the first is answer the following questions. Answer of the questions are given in the notes available in your school. On the same notes, some word meanings are also given for you. Fetch, Lana. Earned, Kamana. Complain, Shikayat. Famous, Mashhoor pieces tukre. Similarly, some dictation words from the lesson are also given. Meal, couple, nod off, medal, crash. Okay, on the next page, here is a question regarding match the following. So, here two columns are given A and B, and you have to match the appropriate answer. And this is also done here in the notes.